Hello, 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 and welcome to the next episode of Caliente Family for um, the Pleasant View Dynasty series. Uh, okay, next day of, of work is a couple of days away, so we're going to have to kind of get her sorted so we can invite uh, Malcolm over after work one day. Unless she gets another promotion and therefore can get a day off sooner. But she has got 22 days uh, left as an adult and we do need to get her sorted on the whole um, um, have a baby. And I want to have it that she like has a baby with Malcolm and then she's like, well, we've got a child. Can't we get married now? Maybe. Maybe. But to carry on the legacy, we are definitely going to have to um, have have a kid, you know. And she does want to marry a rich son, which is why we have picked Malcolm. Yeah, it's a pity that now it's too late to invite someone over. Okay, work hours are 9 to 4. Okay. All right, in fact, she can stay in bed even though her uh, energy is full. So if we keep her in there for like the longest time, now she can have cereal. All right. Excellent. We've kind of, um, right, yeah, we've done good. Okay. Recycle and clean up. I do like that there are fish in her pond. I, I had been thinking about getting rid of a pond, but now I'm like, you know what? I don't think so. Uh, go to work. Right. Yep. She can go to work. I'll we'll just speed things right up. Uh, okay, a memo sent from the main office to all field sales reps informs Dana that a new junior executive position has been created and will be filled at the end of the day by the field sales rep. With the largest new sales contract, this would be a great time for Dana to try out her new plan to incorporate cellular telemarketing into her sales, but then again, door to door is tried and true. I'm going to say telemarketing um, because I, uh, you know, it could be a more efficient use of her time. Okay, Dina sits back in her office chair, looks over her cell phone list of every major purchasing administrator in the Tri City area flexes her dialing finger and dives in. Though some administrators are quite annoyed at having been solicited via their private mobile phone, the amount of contract signed vastly outweighs the number of companies she alienates. Dana clobbers the competition and is promoted to junior executive. Excellent. Now we're like, uh, so Sunday, Sunday is now a day off. But, um, I think she can, uh, use and call Sim. 
let's see if we can't get um, a, a baby on the way. And I'm kind of thinking maybe we should invest in uh, another two of these. Yeah. Quite a big investment. We are going to bring that fun up a little bit. Um, but it will pay off. Because she got, yeah, what was it, 188 simoleons for having three. So, um... If she's got five, then she's going to get more money back. Uh, then that's Don Lothario. We want Malcolm Landgrab. Invite over. How nice of you to invite me. I'll just gussy up and come right over. Okay, so why don't you uh, go here? Because we want to be ready and waiting. Did we get out here a little bit too early? Uh, I mean, we did, but she's outside and uh, she can go, Great Malcolm. <laughs> Uh, so they haven't reached the love part yet. They're getting close, but they're not quite there. Um, no, we're not going to do that yet. I mean, it has gone up, but where is he? He's down here. Okay. Uh, hug. Now we got that. Excellent. Yay! That took a little work. Okay, um... Oh, get in. Oh, he didn't, she, she did not want, oh, okay. Ask Malcolm to join. Um, why don't you do the whole, um, trying for a baby in there? Yes! Yes, we have the air coming. <laughs> we have at least one baby. Whether the first one or, um, you know, I am going to try and have two kids with each um, generation so we can choose. So you guys can have a say in uh, which child uh, takes over. Equal opportunities, so it doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, maybe you should actually head down and ask him to move in. I mean, you're having a baby now. If we can get him to move in, then we could actually expand this house. We could have more solar panels. In fact, I'll move the solar panels to the roof. Uh, we could still have the ground floor as the little home business that we're going to do. But mostly at this point, I just want his money, yeah. Oh, I don't think that's going to work now. Oh, um. Let's see. Can you get off the couch and see if that still counts as marry a rich sim? You know, as we didn't get a cutscene, I, I just want to... 
And that didn't count, so um, we will do a vacation for them at some point, just not right now. Um, wait a second. Okay, yeah, probably not yet. Um, I mean, we could call service. There are butlers in Sims 2, right? I don't think they live with the sea that I think they come and they, they're here, they do stuff and they go home. I think. Yeah, butler. Do you wish assistance in maintaining an orderly household? A charge base fee of 20 simoleons plus 25 per hour. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, I'll be right over. So basically, they will never have to cook again because, well, yeah. Butler. Yeah, she is going to need sleep. And then we've got Malcolm, who is um, actually... He's going to make dinner. Oh, what a lovely husband. You're unemployed. Really? Okay. Um, why don't you find a job? Because you might have 178000 But, you know, at the end of the day, you need more money. Okay. That says, you want to be a criminal mastermind? Cool. If that criminal job isn't in there, I'll get it for you. Because we can always just go like that. But let's see if it's in the paper first. Uh, look again. Look again. Look again. And we're going, no. Okay, so okay, adult jobs, more criminal. Uh, he wants to go to. Oh, uh, he just wants to go on vacation. So yeah, they will do a vacation, but not yet. Because she needs to have, like, either twins or back-to-back -back kids. Okay, um, she is hungry. Let's get her up so she can eat. And then while we're here, we do actually need another chair for that table. You know, so they can eat together. And after this episode and before the next one, there will be a um, upgrade of their house. Okay, after that, you need to grab another bowl because you're that hungry. Uh, after that, you need to do that and grab another bowl and you'll be the last one to put leftovers away. Uh, yes, take job. Uh, he'll be back first thing in the morning. Excellent. I love the fact that the butler does not live here. Okay. Um. Actually, we should be able to get that. Okay, use bed, you um, grab a bowl, put leftovers away, and then do a whole bunch of cleanup, uh, and go to bed yourself. Excellent! He's also an adult. I didn't I didn't realise he was that old, to be honest. I 
I do love how they just like straight up. Okay. Work and work. They both have work today. She does need to improve her logic skill, but um, we'll deal with that later, I think. Actually, why don't you just make yourself um, a cereal? See, because Malcolm won't need to eat when he wakes up. He wants to go to work. Excellent. Alright, so that's uh, Dina heading off to work. Um... Also have breakfast. She is going to work, yeah? Yep. Excellent. Now it's Malcolm's turn. Good work. Malcolm. Excellent. They're both off the work. Uh, Dina is working late with a few co-workers and they decide to order some food. Dina is placed in charge of getting the food. Uh, they're getting pizza. Pizza is staple food of the office food chain. The pizza Dina ends up ordering, however, ends up being mediocre. And everyone eats only a few slices. Dina loses some cuisine enthusiasm. I had wanted to go with like the safe bet, you know? Malcolm hits the crowded downtown streets and immerses himself in the steady flow of banker types and wealthy socialites, all right for the picking. He zeroes in on a couple of targets, but the only decision left is to go whether to go for the tall stop broker in pinstripes or the fleshy woman with a designer handbag and oversized sunglasses. Um, socialite. Okay. Malcolm slips in behind the designer clad woman matching her stride as they reach an intersection. The socialite instinctive, instinctively turns her head to check for traffic, giving Malcolm all the time he needs to lift the woman's wallet and disappear among the masses. Alone in a dark alleyway, Malcolm sorts through his take and finds a business card for an up-and-coming lobster. Malcolm gives a guy a call and talks his way into a promotion to Bagman. Nice. Gotta love getting promoted like that. Okay. He works in a couple of hours. Okay, well, he needs a shower. Straight up, needs a shower. You can nap. Can you nap on your bed? No. Nap there, though. Um, yeah, go get, um, a snack. Okay, she needs a logic point. We'll deal with that next time, really. She gets home in, like, half an hour. So she can go straight on the computer. Of course, no promotion to date. But look at that, she's... Expecting and are you smelly? She is smelly. Okay, so maternity leave, she's not gonna work for the next two days. Uh no, not that one. Take a shower. Okay. Yep, excellent. Seriously, why did the guy go in the bathroom with her? I don't know who this guy is, but... Ask to leave. I know he's a criminal, but get out. 
She was trying to have a shower. And then she can sleep. And he is still at work. He's pretty much going to go straight to bed when he gets home. <sighs> Finally, she, she managed to actually have a shower. Okay, I am so glad that she's got that uh, baby cooking. She's getting ready to like age up and stuff. Here's home. No promo mo promotion, but hey, he went to work twice in one day. Okay, I think uh, this is a good place to end things. So if you made it this far and enjoyed the video, Please hit the subscribe and like buttons. Feel free to leave a comment as I do read each and every single one. I hope you're having a wonderful time zone or wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.